Hey guys, it's Drew with Goose Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we just got a CAC submission back, sent some stuff in for some collectors and wanted to show you guys. Got some gold cacs, got some green cacs, and we had even a collector not get one cac sticker. And we're gonna talk about all that in this video. But let's start to break through each individual collector. We had Nico send some stuff in, John sent some stuff in, Isaiah sent some stuff in, and we even sent some stuff in ourselves. But uh, yeah, let's start showing you guys some stuff. So as you guys saw in our previous CAC submission video, we uh, sent in some whisker jaw peace dollars for Isaiah, and two of them ended up gold stickering, which was pretty cool. We ended up sending one more in for him this time, and this one ended up green stickering. So definitely cool to get some stickers on these coins, almost all consecutive cert numbers. And I mean, just some rich history with the NGC holder and love Love the VAM, really a notable VAM for the Peace Dollar series. Let's show you guys the rest of what Isaiah got in his CAC submission. Okay guys, so here's a look at Isaiah's submission that we sent in for him. Two common date stuff on the bottom. Uh, this is 1886 Morgan. Nice cheek, really nice for the grade as well. Um, you know, I just think it's a decent coin for his set. That's what most of these coins for all these collectors are for. This 1923 didn't pass. I'm just thinking it had too many uh, bag marks and a lot of haze on the front of the coin. This wasn't an attractive 64 in my opinion. And uh, I think John agreed with me there. So still uh, still okay there, but on the top row is kind of my favorites. This is 1878, reverse of 79 Morgan dollar. And the way that you know it's a reverse of a 79 is basically you flip it over and you see the breast feathers Breast feathers would be flat on a normal 78, but these have raised breast feathers, which is the reverse of a 79. And so it's a little bit tough to run to these, and uh, we got it CAC approved, and it's now available on our website, acousticcollectibles.com. Uh, there's two other cool coins here, this 1923 Whisker Jaw Peace Dollar. Uh, it's a great MS64. John liked this coin. It has a few kind of distracting spots on it, but we were able to pick up uh, two gold CAC whisker jaws, the last CAC submission that we had. So getting this one uh, is really just a cherry on top. Happy to, to do so. Happy it, uh, it did well there. This is my one of my favorites, though, of the whole submission. It's a 1936 Buffalo Nickel graded MS65 gold CAC. Just a really strong cheek. Um, I think it's just a really nice 66 at the end of the day. Luster is nice. Strike is nice. Uh, and I'm glad it gold stickered for Isaiah. Do you guys need new coins for your collection? Make sure to check out our website, AcousticCollectibles.com. Got CAC coins on there, got NGC, PCGS, everything that you guys might need, so AcousticCollectibles.com. The next collector we want to talk about is John. Uh, John had some Rattler holders that he wanted to submit for his personal collection, and uh, a lot of them did well. One of them didn't do too well. This is a 1880S Morgan Dollar grade MS65. It does have PVC residue on it. We're going to talk a little bit about that when we show you guys the rest of the coins. Um, but we hope you guys enjoy them. Let's talk a little bit about this PVC coin first, though. So when you take a look at this coin on its face, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Luster is nice and everything. And when you pivot it down some, you can see this blue, greenish all the way across the face in front of the face. I kind of knew this one probably had PVC, but John wanted to send them all anyway and see what would happen with it. Uh, very thankful we can learn from this coin. It's really nice. And uh, it's just something that uh, he can collect and then he can use kind of as a, I don't know, almost as like a filter for future coins. So if you see something at the show and it looks similar to this, it's probably PVC. And so he did sticker on the rest of the coins. So let's show you guys those. Really nice luster on this 1904. Oh, you know, it's well struck, especially for an O mint coin. Love the luster a lot as well. Happy this could sticker for him for his collection. Uh, take a look at this 42 Merc. Uh, you know, just a just a decent coin overall. Nothing too crazy about this coin. Um, I think it's you know it's it's okay for the gray. The luster is not crazy. It's got some weird kind of color on the reverse of the coin. Um, no no crazy 66 in my opinion to for it to warrant a gold sticker. The two top favorites here are for me are the 79S and the 87. This is the 79S here. Nice luster overall on the coin. It's got a little haze, but no PVC. It did sticker because it's just really a nice coin for the grade. And uh, you really can't beat Rattlers with CAC stickers. We collect a lot of them ourselves, so 
We try to help out collectors when they want to send some stuff in. But here's the winner of the submission. This is 1887 Morgan dollar. It's a great MS63, but it did gold sticker. I think this coin's probably a good 64 CAC today, and so that's why they gave it that gold sticker. I really wanted to buy this one from John, but I understand why he'd want to keep it. Just a really nice flashy 87, and I'm glad he gets to add one to his collection. The last collector we want to talk about today is Nico. Nico ended up submitting some coins with us, um, a lot of nice tone coins, and then there also is this 1890cc, it's a great MS63 dimple, and just to let you guys know, none of these coins ended up stickering, which is unfortunate, but we get to learn from them, study them, why didn't they sticker, was the color not genuine, was the coin just too beat up for the grade that it was assigned. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we show you guys Nico's submission. So here's the unfortunate part of the submission that Nico got no stickers at all. And we're going to talk to you a little bit why. Okay, so John doesn't really add a bump for color. And what does that mean? It's basically he doesn't give a plus grade or a grade above because it has nice color. He judges the merits of the coin. Does it have a nice strike? Does it have a nice luster? Uh, what about the hits in the field? All those things that go into regular coin grading, <clears throat> but PCGS thinks a different way. PCGS gives out color bumps, which basically means if a coin's a nice 63, but it's got good color, they'll put it in a 64 holder. And let's find an example of that right now. So this one is 1884, oh, Morgan dollar. It's great MS64 by PCGS. It's got nice color on the reverse of the coin. Not too many hits, nothing too crazy. When you flip it over, it's all bag marked up. As you can see, it's just a lot of stuff going on in the fields here. And to me, I feel like this coin's a 63 at the end of the day. I just don't think it's a 64. Um, I wouldn't merit it as a 64, but they ended up putting a 64 on it. And so I just think that they gave this coin a color bump. And then when they sent it to CAC, John's like, this coin's not a 64. This coin's probably a 63, maybe a CAC. So um, just some things for you guys to understand and realize. I ended up buying an 1889 Morgan Dollar end of roll for my collection. It's great at MS64, but there's a giant gouge on the face. And it didn't sticker. And so that's kind of where, um, you know, it, that's where you kind of fall in between those grades sometimes, which is kind of unfortunate. Here's an 1890 Morgan Dollar grade MS63. Nice color uh, for the date. Once again, though, the obverse is just beaten up, really beaten up here on... Uh, on the coin. Nice color though on both sides and uh, it still is a beautiful piece. I think that uh, Nico will still love it for his collection. Taking a look at the next coin here, um, it's just a, a really beautiful reverse toner as you can see when you flip it over. It's got some more bag marks there on, on the coin. I just think this coin is probably just an average 63. I don't suspect it to be a great 63. You almost want a coin to look like a 64 and a 63 holder to get a green sticker. And so this coin is really nice, but once again, no sticker. Very unfortunate for Nico. Wish we could have had better news for him. Let's take a look at this last coin here. I feel this one's pretty overgraded. It's the 1881S Morgan Dollar Grade MS67 out of the Simpson collection. You take a look right there at the cheek. There's a giant hit right there. And I just don't think that that hit really should merit a 67 grade for this coin. And also there's a lot of haze on the reverse of the coin, which takes away from the eye appeal. So there's a few reasons why this coin didn't sticker. And uh, it sucks for Nico, but I think it's a great learning tool for him and for us watching this video. The last group that we want to talk about today is the coins that we sent in. We ended up piggybacking and sending three coins in that would be nice if they had a sticker. Um, we uh, try to add a few in here and there just to um, bring some uh, kind of content to you guys and also bring up some values on some higher end coins because right now they're not really allowing $16 submissions. They're only allowing $35 submissions. So let's show you guys what we have and uh, what coins stickered for us. So here's a few coins that we ended up sending with the submission on the bottom row. On the top row, we ended up buying those recently. We would like to talk to you about at the end. But... This is a 1922 piece dollar grade MS63 by NGC. A lot of bag marks on the coin, sadly, but the color on the obverse is really nice. Love the rainbow of the coin. 
I don't see uh, too many peace dollars with that crescent toning. And so I ended up spending a lot of money on this coin and one day maybe a tone collector will pick it up. But this coin didn't sticker, I believe, just because it's not the craziest 63. I think that there's just too many hits for it. Another thing that I'm learning too is that there's some haze on some coins that are proofs. This is an 1892 proof 65 cameo. And when you take a look a little bit, you know, from side to side, there is just a few kind of light spots on the coin, especially on the reverse. It's very hard to pick up, but almost like a golden haze to it. I think that it just wasn't really a great cameo, and so I think they ended up just not wanting to sticker this coin. And that's okay. Just something that we learned. Uh, if you want a, a cameo piece, I would say get something that's really deep and has no kind of spotting to it. And another big issue is that with proofs, it really depends on where you hold the coin. So if you keep it in your garage and for 10 years, you're going to start to get haze on it. It's, it's almost like a, I don't know, for me, I think there's so many collectors out there that keep them in so many bad spots that over time, there's the haze started to fill in on this coin. And uh, this one is actually a great example compared to some others where it gets really milky. And so be careful where you store your coins. Make sure it's in some AC uh, just so you guys can preserve them because proofs are pretty finicky that way. So this is the only coin for us that's stickered, but I'm glad this one's stickered. This is the 86 Liberty V Nickel Grade XF45. Key date for the series. It did sticker because I think it's great for the grade. It's got a cool die crack off to the left there where the stars are. I just, uh, I felt this one was really nice and so did John. And so um, this one ended up help, helping make this submission for us because I think it added over $100 in value under this coin. And there's not too many that are CEC approved, which is pretty cool. And so definitely a lovely piece there. Now to finish off the video with these two pieces, this is an 1872 gold dollar graded MS61 by PCGS. Really nice flashy color to the coin. It's like a rich gold almost. 3,500 of these were made, so that's why I bought it because if someone's looking for a tough date, here's the one for you. Um, also bought this really nice trade dollar, very original. It's CAC approved as well. I have to pay up for certain coins like this, but I feel like coins with low CAC amounts like this one, um, it's something you gotta buy. And so a lot of these were just treated like crap and cleaned and destroyed, but this one really has nice original surfaces, XF grade, just a really unique piece. But thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We hope you learned a little bit about PVC, about coins that might be a little overgraded. Um, also saw some nice old holders. If you guys want to keep watching videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Comment your thoughts down below about what coins stickered and which coins didn't sticker. And subscribe if you're new. New videos coming out every single week. See you guys in the next video.